Tonight, the result of a nine-month Larry Barker investigation. Hundreds of people arrested on drunk driving charges are not being prosecuted. Is a New Mexico district attorney giving DWI suspects a free ride? Here's Larry's investigation. It bothers me a great deal. You're playing roulette with people's lives. We're making the arrests, and it's very frustrating when an officer realizes that case is just going to be dismissed. When it comes to DWI prosecution, where's the buck stop? Oh, the buck stops with me, for sure. Ask Santa Fe District Attorney Mary Carmack always about drunk driving prosecutions, and she'll tout her record repeatedly. Now our conviction rate is 95% because we have that 95% conviction rate. We're getting to the 95% conviction rate. I can point to our conviction rate and it's 95%. While the DA can talk all day about DWI cases she takes to court, there's one thing she does not like to address. The hundreds of drunk driving cases sitting in her office unprosecuted. Like Philip Felch. He ran a red light, T-boned a vehicle, failed a field sobriety test, and blew twice the legal limit. He was arrested for aggravated DWI fifth offense. The case has been gathering dust in the Santa Fe DA's office for two years, unprosecuted. Carol Romero. How long have you been driving on two flat tires? Oh, two, no, just today. Romero had slurred speech, reeked of alcohol, failed a sobriety test, and was arrested for aggravated DWI third offense. But Romero got a free ride because the DA did not bother prosecuting the DWI case. Eben McFarlane told officers he had had four beers. He was arrested for felony DWI fourth offense. But McFarlane has yet to be prosecuted. His case file has been gathering dust in the DA's office for almost three years. A News 13 investigation finds over a two-year period, Santa Fe's DA failed to prosecute more than 400 drunk driving cases. Defendants accused of everything from DWI first offense to felony DWI never got their day in court. When you look at the data, what goes through your mind? The word tragedy because there are so many DWI arrests that aren't going to conviction. Tom Stark is executive director for the nonprofit Impact DWI. But when you have large numbers of accused drunk drivers who are simply not prosecuted, what kind of message does that send to the community? I guess it sends the message that DWI isn't very important anymore. How did this happen? Well, once someone is arrested on DWI charges, the DA has 45 days to gather all the police evidence and file formal charges in court. If that deadline is not met, then the case cannot be prosecuted. Santa Fe's DA says the 45-day deadline simply does not give her lawyers enough time to compile all the police reports video and test results necessary to prosecute DWI cases. To buy more time, the DA directed her staff to dismiss all drunk driving cases in court and then refile them later. So we instituted a policy to dismiss every single case in order to gather all of the evidence necessary to prosecute those cases. Every case where we get the discovery, we refile. And if we refile a case in Santa Fe County, you're gonna get convicted. On paper, it's a remedy to get around court-imposed deadlines. In practice, however, the DA's policy has been a public safety fiasco. While all Santa Fe DWI cases are being dismissed, court records show hundreds of them are not getting refiled. Consider Travis Laughlin. After hitting a median, Laughlin's vehicle launched into a parking lot. A passenger was killed and Laughlin was seriously injured. His blood alcohol was almost three times the legal limit. He was charged with homicide by vehicle DWI. 
to allow more time to collect evidence, the case was dismissed in court. That was two and a half years ago. Today, Travis Laughlin's case remains unprosecuted because the DA has not refiled charges. Adon Cardenas had four prior DWIs when he was involved in a hit and run. With a pint of vodka in his back pocket, Cardenas refused a sobriety test and was charged with felony DWI. The DA dismissed charges almost three years ago and has not refiled them. When officers caught up with Reuben James, he had four prior DWIs and a revoked driver's license. I'm going to bury you. I know. I'm going to bury you. I know. He was arrested for felony DWI. Days later, the case was routinely dismissed. But that was 19 months ago. The DA is still sitting on the case. Over a two-year period, beginning in August 2020, court records show the DA filed and then dismissed almost 900 DWI cases. However, only about half of them have been refiled. The DA's failure to refile misdemeanor DWI cases means more than 300 accused drunk drivers cannot be prosecuted due to the statute of limitations. Like Ramon Rivera Saravia, after he crashed his vehicle and admitted drinking whiskey and beer, he was arrested for aggravated DWI. But Rivera Saravia need not worry about going to court. The DA had one year to refile the charges. She didn't. The list of lost drunk driving cases goes on and on. Troy Tenorio, Dale Sturgeon, Jaden Potts. Court records show 300 first DWI cases are lost. They cannot be refiled. I mean, would you acknowledge that? I, I disagree with those statistics. I don't think it was 300. There were problems in the system all, all the way around. And yes, there were some cases that were lost. In fact, there are so many DWI cases pending in Santa Fe, the DA admits she cannot keep track of them all. Has this office had a problem with tracking cases? Prior to the last eight, nine, 10 months, yes. I've never seen a blanket policy of dismissing cases um, in all my years of law enforcement. Adon Mendoza is the Santa Fe County Sheriff. The community expects that when we arrest somebody for DWI that they be held accountable and they be prosecuted. When you give me the number of 400 plus cases that have been dismissed and not refiled, I don't care what the crime is, that's an issue. But there are too many people who have at least been charged with drunk driving who never get prosecuted for it. This sort of dismissal rate really flies in the face of what we've been trying to do for 30 years. Steve Settle is among the state's foremost experts on DWI law. He is a retired prosecutor and played a key role in reforming New Mexico's antiquated DWI laws. The whole idea of the DWI reform was to provide greater penalties for repeat offenders, provide treatment. If you can't get the person off the streets the first or second time and at least get them into treatment or punish them, we have mandatory jail time for DWI. You haven't achieved anything. You haven't addressed the problem at its source. I think dismissals can be the result of many factors. But in Santa Fe County, this dismissal rate is being driven by a policy that was put in place by the district attorney. Rachel O'Connor leads Santa Fe County's Community Services Department. If you don't prosecute a drunk driver, what are the consequences? Well, I think that person doesn't get an ignition interlock. The person doesn't have access to treatment. Um, there's no community service. All the sanctions that the legislature put in place to stop drunk driving this person does not then receive. Do you feel like you owe any apologies for the prosecution of DWI cases while your term in office? No. For all the people on this list, what penalties will they be facing? None. There are no penalties if you don't get convicted. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. Several of the defendants whose drunk driving cases were not prosecuted by Santa Fe's DA later were arrested again on new DWI charges. Some shocking numbers there. It really is.